on everyone and welcome back to this week's episode of Munching Malta. So we are here in Spinola Bay in St. Julien's. A new restaurant has opened up called Pixie. Uh, hi Owen, it's me Owen from the future. By the way the name of the restaurant is called Pesci, not Pixie. Back to you. It is a Mediterranean fish restaurant and we are going to head in and see what's cooking. Tell me can't you feel my feelings for you have always been for you. So we are now currently inside Pesci and I'm here with the chef Steve. So he's gonna give a quick run through of the restaurant when it opened and what they kind of, they love to cook. We actually specialize in uh, fresh fish. Uh, okay. It's uh, Mediterranean fresh fish, so it's not just uh, you and know, it's literally it's from out the door. You know, yes, literally exactly. reach out and catch we have, it. We have recipes that are like uh, Middle Eastern influence. We have yeah. Spanish influence. A lot of Italian influence as well. Again, a very important question is what would you recommend to have? So if I pick one thing off the menu, uh, the prawn carpaccio is amazing. Prawn carpaccio. Uh, nice pastas as well. Uh, okay, with uh, ritzy and prawns or, uh, and some fresh fish. Perfect, well. perfect. So it all sounds good. So we'll give a look into the kitchen, see what's cooking, and then we'll get stuck in. So literally just sitting outside on the waterfront and it's again similar to last week so we're doing two fish reviews in a row and so last week was very similar in the sense that it's a fish restaurant that specializes in fresh fish and it is situated in a prime location. And this is no different in the sense that you can literally see the water from here. You can probably see the fish from here. Amazing view of Spinola Bay. So the starter that I have is the prawn carpaccio. It's with lime, ginger, mint, olives, and some olive oil too. So you can see it's served cold, it's fresh, it's literally just made inside. So without further ado, it's time to get tasting. Mm. Oh my god, the taste is amazing. Lime dressing really comes out straight away. Really nice hint of black pepper, which is garnished in the finish. The finish of ginger as well. It's not too strong, but it's just left as the aftertaste. Really nice and tender. Melts in your mouth the very minute you bite it. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. For the pasta dish I was served is a linguine with baby calamari, lemon, garlic, and then finished with fresh herbs and parmesan. So, again, the same concept here. You have the beautiful chunks of fish that just pop out of the fresh pasta. You want the fish to be the star of the show. You don't want to overdo it with too much pasta. You can appreciate the fish in the dish. Oh, the calamari is amazing. Again, it's different. Last week we had a battered calamari. This is completely different. It's juicy, it's tender. And it goes so well with that pasta, which is still quite al dente. It still has a bite. The sauce isn't too heavy, so it's only very lightly coated. The taste of that is absolutely amazing. I love the citrus vibes and the fresh herbs. Really, really, really make a nice finish to the dish. Every bite is as good as the last one. I mean, with each bite, the dish gets better and better. Yeah. And as well as that, I'm finding little bits of caramelized pancetta. It, so essentially, it's the lardons, but they've been like overcooked to the fact where they crunch. And you get this like beautiful little crispy salty bite. It adds so nice to the kind of juicy tender calamari. The surprise at the end of the dish that I didn't know was there so it's a dish I keep on giving. And if you thought that's it you are all so wrong. Right now we gotta go take out the fish, bring it upstairs and cook it. So 
the fish is brought down as you can see the fish is salt baked so what it does is it encapsulates all the moisture it cooks the fish in its own steam its own heat and when it's broken out like that you have the most juicy fall off the bone fish you could possibly imagine white flesh is pulled off the bones and what you're left with is this just amazing stack of white meat beautiful lemon and oil dressing a wedge of lemon and then some roast potatoes and roast vegetables to go along with it so i'm going to take the first bit of white fish a little bit of that dressing oh my god there's literally no chewing involved it genuinely just breaks down in your mouth immediately that is that is truly truly beautiful and that is the easiest thing to eat in the world so paul irishman i have to remark that the roast potatoes have done very very well Shit. Very, very few in here to be honest. They are small ones, but you can literally see them. They pull straight out of the meat, pop them aside, and enjoy the meat that's there. It really does showcase that simple food done well. It's the best way to serve it. I wouldn't have served that any other way than the fish, the dressing on the side. Very clean, very easy to eat. That was honestly a 10 out of 10 dish. If tomorrow was your last day on earth, what would your last meal be? And that my friends is a wrap and the best thing about this place are the seats here when you just leave the restaurant so you can sit down after an absolute feed of good food and watch the sunset over Spinola Bay watch the fishermen sail out so I think I've summarized that up quite well do you get the picture that it's a fresh fish caught here put on a plate in front of you clean serve so hands down the best fish dish i've had since i've been here it goes out saying if you are in the saint julian's or spinola area call into pesci get yourself one of those fish and you will not be sorry i promise you that as always thank you so much for watching i appreciate every view if you enjoyed the episode please give it a like subscribe to the channel and as always keep on cooking ciao ciao